I saw the Lord, I saw the Lord, high and lifted up, so high and lifted up. Isaiah's vision has often been used as a template for uh, for worship, for approaching God. Um, you know, suddenly we encounter this, this holy God, you know, he's totally different from, from us. Isaiah saw his own unholiness. He confesses his sin and he receives cleansing. Uh, and the next thing that's happening is, is he overhears this conversation from, from God saying, well, who are we gonna send, you know? Uh, who will go for us? Uh, and you know, Lord send me. There's been a great emphasis and a right one on intimacy with God and without reducing that in any way because there's intimacy in the story but there's also an incredible uh, glory and, and holiness and majesty of God which I think we need to set alongside the, the intimacy. Who is it that we're worshipping? I think it's also a reminder um, that whenever we worship, we're actually joining in with the perpetual worship of heaven. There is always worship going on on a scale that we can't imagine. And Isaiah got that little glimpse of it. And I always find that a tremendous encouragement and it lifts me up to another place uh, when I think about that. We can get very me-centered, you know, me and my needs centered. But Isaiah's vision is is totally God God-centered and what a majestic picture it is.